What's up everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna show you a keyboard that I've been using for the past month to streamline and help my editing flow. This is called the Loop Deck Plus. Yeah, that was cheesy. But it is the coolest keyboard ever. Like seriously, you can edit and color grade in full screen. You got that right, in full screen. So typically I'll edit in full screen now when I'm color grading and just use all the little dials on here and it seriously makes the editing process fun and efficient. That's the biggest thing. So huge shout out to Loop Deck for sponsoring this video and let's just show you what it looks like. So right out of the box, the Loop Deck Plus is pretty powerful. There are so many little features about it that make scrubbing and editing in Premiere Pro so much fun and I honestly really enjoy it. So at first, my favorite feature about the Loop Deck is all of the color correction properties. This makes editing and color correcting so much fun. You can go to a clip and typically when you would color correct, you would drag it around with these sliders and sometimes it takes some while then going to the next clip also takes a little bit of time. But I wanna show you that in Loop Deck, all you have to do is literally scrub to your clip that you wanna edit and you can adjust the contrast, the shadows, exposure, highlights, pretty much anything. And one thing you'll notice is that you can literally drag two at the exact same time. If you don't like what your color correction looks like, you can simply click the buttons on the Loop Deck and that will reset everything to the very beginning. So I typically do this when I am color correcting and it's really awesome. This allows us to edit in a new way that is very satisfying. So once you're in full screen, you can still use your scrubbing dials, you can go to your next clips and really look at everything that's going on. I like to adjust my exposure, my vibrance, highlights and shadows, pretty much anything. And then once I like what it looks like, I'll just move on to the next clip by using either the control wheel to snap to the next clip or the D2 wheel to scrub to my next clip. It's pretty awesome and makes editing extremely fun. Like I guarantee once you pick this up, it will be a blast editing. You really just have to go through here and adjust the parameters to something that you like. Now, this is a different style of editing for me. Typically, I would look at Lumetri scopes, but ultimately, it's kind of like what looks good to your eye. And once you're done, you can play back using their functions over here. You can rewind, you can fast forward, you can scrub through manually. Like this thing is pretty endless. And that's just one feature about it that I really enjoy. So when you're editing your color wheels, typically Luma is your shadows, saturation is your midtones, and hue is your highlights. You can program this however you like, but selecting on the shadows, dragging the leftmost dial moves it left and right, and then the second one moves it up and down. So it's kind of fun because you can just slide these things around and see what your image is doing all while looking at your color wheels at the same time. If you don't like what's going on, you can just click the button and it'll reset it. And the third one changes the exposure of those as well. And seamlessly you can click through these and really get an idea of what you want to do to your mid-tones, highlights, and shadows. And selecting the custom mode button up here, this kind of changes everything on the keyboard. And you can go to the Loop Deck app to see what's going on. So you can see that the temperature has been changed to the go to previous endpoint. You can change the video track height by changing the tint. And you can change the auto track height by changing the vibrance. So it's pretty sick. I mean, it's obviously gonna take you some time to get the hang of this stuff, but once you get the idea of what everything is going on and how to use it, it really makes everything a little bit easier. We can use the slip tool without actually having to use the slip tool, and we can also slide the clip around as well. So there's a couple features that really make this thing a powerful tool. So let me break it down for you. The Loop Deck Plus is powerful. I've been using it for a month and while it takes some time and may seem daunting since there's so many keys, it's really incredible. You can streamline your editing process and it makes editing fun. And that's a big perk for me because I edit all the time. The features are endless and you can customize every single button on the Loop Deck Plus to your own liking using their app. All you have to do is select on it and you can really look at anything that is in Premiere Pro and key map it or key bind it to the Loop Deck Plus. 
Ultimately, you have to decide for yourself if you would use this in your editing workflow. I can speak from experience that I've been using this and I've been trying to use the keyboard less and less. And every time I edit, I find myself actually not using the keyboard that much at all. It's really nice because whenever I'm editing, I will typically look at a button that I would need to press on the keyboard and then some way I would find out how I can map that to the Loop Deck Plus. In my opinion, I really like this thing and I enjoy using it. So be sure to click the link in the description down below if you want to pick one up for yourself and let me know if you do because uh, I want to see how it works for you. Ah, I almost forgot about the ultimate effects pack. Whoopsie. Click the link in the description down below if you guys want to enter for a chance to win the Ultimate FX Pack for free. I announce the winners on Tuesday. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button because it seriously helps out the channel. And if you're new, consider subscribing because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future. I need to stop looking to the right because that's where my flip out screen is. Thanks again, Loop Deck, for making this all possible. I'll see you guys next time. Ooh.